Welcome to the A2 Music Technology Revision Guide. Throughout this series of exam revision sessions, we're going to be looking at all the aspects needed for the A2 Music Tech Exam Unit 4. This is quite a complex exam and probably going to be unlike any other exam you've ever done. One of the biggest aspects of this is that you will be asked to produce music, edit music within the exam. So everything that you've learned throughout your AS year, throughout your A2 year, is going to come to consolidation within this exam. So making sure you have a real, a real good confidence level with the door that you're going to be using is going to be a necessity. So one of the things that I say to my students is understand where you are and where you want to be. The first step is to understand the structure of the exam and then it's to understand what you're going to be asked. So there is no better reference point for this than by doing a previous exam, a mock exam. Once you've done a mock exam, you can then evaluate the mark scheme and see actually what is expected of me? How is this exam broken down? What do I need to learn further to actually make my chance of success better? So this is how I break it down. First, let's understand the structure. So let's understand that this exam is broken up into five questions. How I break it down for my students is like this. So question one could be, not always, but it could be something like music performance terminology, um, music and general theory, listening to rhythms and pitch mistakes. That could also come up in the other questions, but this is a generalization, okay? So question two could be something like um, looking at music theory terminology, looking at practical editing. This will be your first task, and you'll then have to bounce that first one down. Question three, practical audio and MIDI, MIDI editing um, and some kind of mixing task. So that'd be track two. And then you have question four, which is the, the big essay question. It's worth 16 marks normally which is 20% of the exam. So making sure you get this right is essential. And you get, you get a choice of two. Normally you get a history and development question or you get a hardware question. Always quite interesting, but we'll come to that one in the question four um, section, okay? And then finally, you'll be asked to do a bigger mix and then bounce it down. One thing you do need to remember about this exam is all bounce downs have to be completed within the two hour time limit, okay? You are then allowed to put your bounce downs onto CD, but you outside of the exam time, you will not be allowed to do any further bounce downs. Okay, so you need to make sure before the exam finishes that all your bounce downs work. Okay, so that's how we do that. So next, um, you then need to learn how to answer the question. So once you've done your first mock exam, you then can come to these sessions and actually start working through the questions and learning how to answer them. For the resources I give my students, which are fantastic, and they're all supplied by Edexcel, are, are these ones. So you've got the Music Tech Student Guide, you've got the A2 Revision Guide, and I've also included the AS Revision Guide because there's so much good information in there. I actually find the AS Guide better than the A2 Guide, if I'm honest. Um, and then finally, you've got this fantastic listening tests um, paper. You have to buy the CD separately, if I remember rightly, but um, it's also very, very good. Throughout these sessions and throughout the year, you need to be writing clear and concise revision notes, okay? So when you refer to them close to the exam, they make sense to you. Okay, so the, the questions that you could be asked. Once again, it's made up of five questions, 80 marks over two hours. So music theory and listening will definitely come up. Recording techniques, including microphone techniques, um, comes up but in a smaller majority than they would have done in the AS exam. Then you've got mixing and editing. Now these are normally practical tasks. So rather than being asked, oh, where are these instruments panned? They're going to say, pan your instruments to these positions or EQ in this way, automate in this particular way. Okay, so you have to follow the instructions very, very clear, carefully. You also get some sound creation tasks well, where you have to listen to a piece of audio and then recreate the actual sound of it much like the task 3a um coursework okay then you've got instruments and effects it could be okay balance these instruments add these effects to your mix performance terminology is a little bit bigger in this one making sure you have a conventional understanding of terminology is going to be really really important digital audio theory is going to be important especially when it comes to bouncing down your final mixes ready for cd
And this is part of the exam. Failure to bounce down in 16-bit 44.1 kilohertz will mean that you will fail that particular task. And most of those tasks are worth between 20 and 30% of the exam. So be very, very careful with that, making sure that you bounce down correctly. If you're unsure about how to bounce down, you need to do lots of practice before the exam. Okay, next one, synthesis questions. Once again, they come up as sound creation more than anything else. And then you have this question for essay. Um, which we cover in massive depth. There's loads and loads of articles to help you answer this. Generally, the essay has to be around 250 words. So make sure you practice writing 250 words and well-structured. It is a written communication um, question, so make sure you uh, write very clearly. Okay, final thoughts before I let you guys get on. Once again, just regular revision sessions. Come back to musictechstudent.co.uk. Loads of revision sources throughout the year for you to look at. Um, have a go, practice, and, and all the rest of it. Now, in this particular revision session, if you scroll down now, all the information I've just covered is there. And I've also included a nice video from Music Tech Guru when they explain how to kind of answer all the questions. That's a really nice one to look at and just watch because he does go through kind of time management and kind of practical aspects of how to answer the questions okay and then I've given you some further resources and organization tips and papers to look at and download okay so good luck with this one spend a little time just going through this make sure you understand the layout and structure of the exam do your mock exam and I'll see you in the next one